The regular monthly meeting of the Southwark Agricultural Commission. It is October 13th, 2021. Uh, we have a quorum. Uh, and we have some folks on Zoom. So we can call the meeting to order. Is there, uh, we have some public here, which is always good. Um, I'm sorry, Bert, you have to announce each of the members. And oh, the announce members. each member, sorry. Okay, so we have Dan Cook, Brett Colson, Myself, Bert Hansen, Anita Bober, Ron Cicchini, um, we do not seem to have our new member, Bob Mucha. Just want to have that on the recording. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so we can uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, any public comment uh, before we get going? You're welcome to comment along the way as well. Okay, Marissa. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking through uh, Marissa Cook Obergon, 126 South Lewis Street. Um, I'm going through the agenda and I'm not sure if you're going to address the new appointments or the rearrangements. Um, if so, I can wait until this comes to the agenda. Okay. Uh, but I didn't see yeah. that here, but maybe I'm missing it. I don't want to. No, well, we do want to talk about how we're going to move forward. So. So if you want to just okay, wait till sure. then. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, just, Excuse me, Bert. I had a public comment. If you, if you have a chance, Dennis. Yes, uh, Dennis Clark, seventy-five Fred Jackson Road. I'm sorry, I'm not there with you guys. I, I wish I was still on the commission. Um, I had a courtesy call from Selectman Fox telling me that. I wasn't on the commission anymore, and he didn't give me a reason, but he said the commission was going in a different direction. And that kind of concerned me because I thought that the direction the commission was going in was a excellent dir direction. Uh, do you guys uh, know anything about the, he said the new direction and to put more farmers on, on the uh, agricultural commission. So I'm assuming that uh, Mr. Mucha must be a farmer, but, uh, it's, I, I don't know if he, does anybody know what the new direction is? Mis I failure to explicitly state what the new direction is just kind of shows a lack of direction. I agree. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. Sorry, Brett Golson. Well, I was just, I was hoping Mr. Mucha would be here to tell us how he heard about the Agricultural Commission, what sparked his interest, and maybe he knows about what the new direction saying he's the one that's uh oh, that's saying he's not crazy. Uh and I don't know him and I've expressed that to the select board. <clears throat> uh and along with my objection thing was handled. Um I believe he is the groundskeeper, if that's the right term, of Edgewood Golf Course. So that's it's kind of a farmer, huh? It's a groundskeeper. <laughs> Oh, all right, so I'm not sure, um, but but it, I just I, I you know APR has always been dear to my heart, and the town has been fighting me for APRs ever since we started it. Finance committee called the committee preservation committee in front of them one time said stop preserving farmland, and John Wally and I were, he was John was the chair and I was the vice chair. We told them that, that we were not going to stop for preserving farmland because we thought that was the best thing we could do. <clears throat> that was shortly before we, John and I, didn't get reappointed to the Community Preservation Committee. So I'm familiar with this uh, tactic. So, but I think you guys, you know, you're, you're a solid group right there. You're going to keep on doing, hopefully, what we've been doing, preserving as much land as possible and whatever it takes. I, just wanted to express my opinion. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. But in other words, that's not, it's nothing new. Like anytime you're a dissenter or you speak out in a way different than the thoughts of the powers that be, you're immediately shut down. I mean, it's nothing new. It's just. Sounds like you're next. It's possible. You never know. <laughs> I won't go down as easy though. <laughs> uh, Marissa, yes. Okay. Okay. Marissa Cook over on 126 South Lewis Street. I just want to be clear 
and have you say on record, if possible, please, Burr, you have not been given ex an explanation as a chair of the Agricultural Commission from the select board as to why those reappointments happened. Has that explanation come through? Have any answers been given? No, I did get a call from Russ Fox, uh, because I, <clears throat> largely because I was asking about uh, Bob Mucha, and he couldn't or didn't really talk about any reasons for any of any of you not not to be reappointed. Um, he didn't say anything to me about a, a new direction. Um, so it, like all of us, it took me totally by surprise that you and Dennis were not reappointed. Um, so no, there hasn't really been a meaningful So I'm just wondering then, how is business being conducted today without questions or without answers to that basic question that pertains to like the function of the ADCOM? It just yeah. seems that if members can be removed without consultation or even notice of any kind, um, the state of the ADCOM is, is rather precarious then. And it doesn't seem like it can really function or proceed functioning without some sort of explanation or rationale so that you can go forward and continue planning and doing the work that you guys are all doing. And you were doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, fair point. Yeah, well, obviously, we, need, we have some kind of a new direction. We need to know what that is. The last one's the MOBA. <laughs> but as you know, uh, I wasn't privy to any of the decision making, nor was Chris Pratt, nor was Mike Doherty on the planning, master planning. Believe it is Mike's intention, Marissa, to appoint you as a, as a resident to the Master Planning Committee. Yes. Uh, and also, and it's, it seemed for, from what Mr. Doherty was saying, it seems like there was actually uh, some legal issues that were breached right. due to the, the length, the, the term lengths, and the expiration of the term. Of the term right. right. Which, particularly with Marissa, who had a three-year term, you have a, a year to go. Um, so that's kind of, uh, that's not right. Um, yeah, Diane? Danielle, on the uh, appointments that you all just signed today, did they have term terms on? No. I've brought that up a couple of times in my my tenure with ICOM about, well, what are, what are the terms? You know, shouldn't we have? Terms and so there's so not everybody, you know, potentially everybody could go off the at the same time. So we should have some sort of rolling terms um, that's never been addressed. So, uh, do you want to get a copy of that? No, no, that's probably there was a, sure. there was a book. Yeah, yeah. Book. yeah. <laughs> probably the, uh, the omission is probably so they can keep it at. Um, what do you call it like at will yeah right. yeah at will, like an at will tenancy an at will employment an at will board membership you know right so they so, can just terminate you anytime they feel like it there's no yeah, explicit right. wording right. like a month to month lease basically or at least annually which yeah. i mean that doesn't make me feel too good or you know else i'm sure yeah. uh marissa uh, so according to the select board um, meeting notes from the 27th um Mr. Mucha, Mucha, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name, I wish you were here to correct me. Um, he has been made a full member, yet I believe Brett and Zach are still associate members or alternate members. I don't know if that changed tonight. No, nope, it did not change. The select board. Okay, nope. so you're confirming that you're still both correct. alternate members. So with all due respect to Mr. Mucha, <clears throat> why was he made a full member and you guys were not? Is right. that a question that... That's a very good question. I mean, that's something that the public would like to know because we've seen you guys yeah, yeah. <laughs> on this board for nearly two years, years now. Two to three years, yeah. Exactly, two <laughs> to three years at this point. Yeah. How is it that someone who has not attended the meeting and isn't here tonight for their first meeting, a full member? I would like to know. A good question. Another good question. Um. Will, you be, sorry. Go ahead, Diane. Will you be addressing that for the select board? Yes. This is Melissa Pripyat, Klein Road. Um, 
I wondered if you perhaps could get Mr. Fox to one of your meetings, maybe your next meeting, and ask him to address the new direction that he's expecting the Ag Commission to go. Uh, we could try. Um, I don't so. think you should try. I think you should invite him. And if he doesn't show up, yeah, I sure. think that's very telling. That's what I mean by trying. We'll, we, we'll invite him. Uh, we can't force them. We can't make them come. <laughs> you put them on the agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Thank you for, for all this and your support. I really appreciate it. Um, I think actually, since we're on this um, this topic, uh, I wanted to make a motion to the AgCom members, obviously, a uh, motion to condemn the unfair termination of Commissioners Larissa Coco Bergan and Dennis Clark and by the Select Board and to call for their immediate reinstatement. Re second, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you second it, Brett. Brett, uh, Brett. Yes. Thank you. Okay, all in favor, we have to do a roll call. So, uh, for Hanson, yes. Brett? Yes. yes. Amy? Yes. Yes. Manita, yeah. yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> Unanimous. Thank you. That's what I wanted. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. As a matter of meeting protocol, because of the reappointments, you really need to vote on chair and vice chair. Okay. All right. So, would anybody like to be chair of this commission? <laughs> I'm happy to keep doing it. You're doing a yeah, you're doing a great job. <laughs> as long as you want to. <laughs> um, so I guess somebody besides me should make a motion to name me. Make a motion to name Bert Hanson as chair. Bert Wilson seconds that. Third. Okay, uh, let's see. So roll call again. Tammy? Yes. Brett? Aye. Dan? Aye. Zach? Aye. Ron? Aye. Benita? Aye. I'll vote for myself. Aye. <laughs> yeah, I have so. <laughs> now, how about a how about a co-chair or a vice a vice president? I'll, I'll vote for that. All right, that'll be it. Okay, I'll make a motion that we that Barring, we, unless Marissa comes back. Okay, right. <laughs> That's true. As an individual, uh, uh, in your interim, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So I'll make a motion that we that we uh, elect uh, Brett Colson as uh, vice president of the commission. Vice chair. Vice chair. Lenita seconds. So let's see. So uh, Bert Hansen says aye. Lenita. Aye. Ron. Zach. Aye. Dan. Aye. Dan. Brett. Aye. And Penny. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So now that he's vice chair, is he still an alternate? Yeah. Oh man! Can I even be vice chair as an alternate? Oh, he's putting himself on the line. <laughs> I should probably, honestly, Bert, like formally request to be made a full full term member. Yeah. Um. I'll have to check the um, the warrant of the town meeting when it was formed. I think it's five. That's what I'm trying. I can't remember. Sure, it's no, five or seven members. Yeah. Seven members. Sure. Is yeah. that what the um, she, Marisa? Well, I know that I was a full member. Associate. I don't know if that. Do they all say associate? No. no. Mine says associate. This is your big claim after that. If need be. Put me as an alternate because I can't, and I've expressed this to Russ Fox at one point that I don't know why they would even reappoint me because I can't, since Jeff died, I really cannot make enough meetings to make it worthwhile. And his answer was they need full time farmers on the board. Yeah. I, okay. I, but I would love to be here every time. I just, yeah, a lot of yeah. times I text you and I'm Understood. still on the track. Right. You know, oh, yeah. Understood. I can't change yeah. that. 
but I would gladly go as an alternate so that Brett could read. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can change that. <coughs> I believe that's up to the select board. Oh, or Gene, if you have information on that. Um, but let's let this, uh, well, let this stand, sure, yeah. Brett, as, yeah. as, with you as co chair. Um, we'll, we'll figure this out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you know the town attorney is not on the web page? I can't get in touch with him. I honestly was wondering, because <laughs> I haven't known who the town attorney was since it was Dick Walkley. Yeah, right. And that's a while ago. Just a little tangent there, right? right? <laughs> yeah, that should be on there. Yeah, I have, I have some questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's see, we gotta just figure out. Um, I don't think the website gets updated very often. Yeah. No. Community garden's still not on there, except for the picture. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, Delita as well. If we be, yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, that may satisfy you know, having a full time farmer or farm from home. Or yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, good. Well, <laughs> good to <laughs> bring these things up. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, um, I, just to, uh, while we're still kind of on public comment, I wanted to mention that John Goddard, the um, town planner, is going to try to join. He's, he volunteers on the Conservation Commission in West Springfield. Mm -hmm. They have a meeting tonight, but he wanted to join to talk about the um, Prifty and Davis APR. Davis has heard nothing yet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and speaking of that, I wonder if you other commissioners, um, I'd like to call a special meeting in two weeks specifically to talk about uh, those two APR mm -hmm. applications and the process and have uh, Barbara Hobson or someone from MDAR come and uh, walk us through that and with John Goddard as well. So would you guys be, uh, that would be the, yeah. the day that is, is the 13th, so 27th. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. To talk about the uh, uh, APR process specifically for Crifty and Davis, but just also kind of overview so we can get a better idea of, because I, frankly, I don't understand all the steps. Who is that going to be? Uh, here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, and I also wanted to say to your point, Marissa, and yours, Dennis, that um, I believe, no, I don't believe, Russ Fox told me that you guys can, can continue working on APR applications as residents. So yeah. if you want to. <laughs> that was that was nice of him, wasn't that? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I hope you will continue uh, with that work because you guys know all about it. Or more than some of us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're not following the agenda here, really, but um, since we're making motions about who's going to fill what role, <clears throat> I want to bring up the master plan committee. Um, since Marissa was terminated from ag and conservation and master plan, that means ag needs a representative to serve on the master plan. Committee. Um, I think I emailed everyone, not <clears throat> sure how you all feel, candidates and candidates, I think. Uh, is anybody interested in doing that? Again, I'll, I'll do it. Um, I just. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, can somebody besides me <laughs> make that motion? <laughs> I'd like to nominate Bert to do that. Um, uh, that's a point coming. Second. Okay. I'm sorry, you said uh, uh, Dan. <clears throat> so, okay, we need to vote. Uh, Lenita? Aye. Ron? Aye. Zach? Aye. Dan? Aye. Brad? Aye. Kenny? Aye. Again, I vote for myself. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> 
the good I was, you know, when Marissa was going to do it, I was very happy because not only is she very capable, I wasn't sure if I had the time. <clears throat> However, in two weeks, I will actually be retired, but very much from my day job. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm, yeah. <laughs> well, I could speak. I actually think it's uh, kind of a good outcome. I'm sorry. She's old. Oh, name and address. No, no. Right. Sage Fury, 91 Granville Road. Uh, I actually think uh, we're making better because of both of you on the master plan. Because mm -hmm. I kind of felt that should have been happening anyway. Awesome. So I'm happy that that actually kind of okay. happened. Well, good. Well, thank, good thank you. You guys make a good team. Yeah. <laughs> well, we thought so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so now we can work through our kind of our to do list here. Um, you might want to start with the minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. Thank you. Uh, the minutes of um, last week, September eighth uh, meeting. September eighth. Is that the right thing? Yeah, September eighth. Um, uh, I didn't. I didn't have any uh, corrections or edits. Folks, a minute to go through those. <clears throat> Is there another copy? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, under the Grandy Open Farm Day, you see my the second sentence is C I A L instead of the K. You get that, Jane? Welcome. Okay. Uh, seems like Hansen is spelled correctly throughout. I can <laughs> it's only been a couple of years. Should get it right Okay, you ready y'all? So I make a motion to approve the minutes of September 8th with, with one spelling change. How many seconds? <laughs> uh, the vote, uh, Lenita? Okay, Ron? Aye. 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 Bert, aye. Thank you. Um, I still, uh, my bad, I still, uh, I guess nobody says that anymore, but my bad. Um, <laughs> uh, the minutes of June 30th still have some, uh, there were some gaps there, and I need to listen to the recording, and I have not done that yet. So, uh, Do you know that my bad was originated by Manute Bull, Manute Bull, the basketball star? No. Yeah. 
because it was a it was like a language barrier. He was from like uh, I don't want to yeah. Let's see, he was from Kenya. Yeah, something like that. Ghana or Kenya. Yeah, no, was that thing about crazy? No idea. So, okay. Yeah, supposedly it was because his, English, his, his language barrier. Yeah, he used to say that all the time. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Well, I, uh, thank, fun you fact. Fact. thank you for that fun fact. Yes, yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so now I need you to learn. Um, <laughs> uh, we need to talk about the, the future of our projects and the conservation properties that are being worked on, but we have a list of those later, so we'll get to that later, I would say. Um, I have not yet contacted the realtors about the right, right to farm disclosures. It's still on my list. Uh, community Garden, Ron and I have talked about tilling uh, the weekend of November 6th and 7th. Yeah, I'll depending, take care you know, depending on the weather, of course, but we'll, we'll uh, try to get that. Cool. Okay. Uh, the Kellogg properties, no, uh, no. Moves on those, and actually, uh, Seth Seth Kellogg um, is probably in his last days right now. So uh, this is not oh, really, yeah. Uh, so he sold. It looks like he sold uh, the Kellogg brothers' the septic tank business. Um, I asked about that. It wasn't actually the business. There's a house. Yeah, I know. Yeah, house. On that yeah, house. Yeah, I heard he didn't sell it. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh. No, the house is sold. Yeah, the house, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The property next to me, they just did a perk test and then passed it. So. Oh, okay. And that's the one that's directly across from Kellogg's? No. Oh. Yes, directly oh, yeah, across. Right across okay. the street from me. Oh, okay. So what's he doing? Like renting out that to the Banish? Banish? No, oh, to uh, <laughs> lumber construction mill. company. Yeah, yeah. I say lumber because he's got a lumber plant. So say Danish or I see his trucks in there. Flourish? Yeah. Maybe there's Flourish. Okay. Flourish construction. What's that? No, I, I think Bert was confusing forest uh forest no, construction. It's not that. It's uh yeah. So there's something going on over there. <laughs> what about the oh, property Kellogg's. behind um, something going on? Like property like across they, the bridge they, there. They got it either rented or sold. That actually the, wasn't the company. Yeah, his nephews. Yeah, he's, okay. he's, I heard he was leasing yeah. it to. Uh, yeah, he sold the house. He had the bird construction stuff. company up yeah. on. Uh, okay, he could walk back okay. then. So yeah, yeah. bird watch. Yeah, the that's buried. Yeah. That's the area. The area. Yeah. Really? Oh my yeah. God. He's got trucks in there. Yeah. That's why I said banish. It was yeah. banish. I thought he sold it to Barry. But well, that's, I remember. Him. I was actually, I was working with Dave like last year, and that was the whole plan was to take over the company, but they couldn't come to a amiable term between the both of them. Mr. Kellogg, of course, wasn't even doing too well then. But interesting to hear that they kind of got in there somehow. Yeah, they got their trucks and just. Yeah. To some, to some degree. Right. Yeah. You know, I said somebody ran it as a septic. But, but do you, you got nothing for a comfort. Bird, you must have heard about that. Too. That's what happens, you know, when the bird watching you know, company. The head, yeah. Bird watching across that company. You don't want to let it go. Yeah, well, I know. I know sell that the, land back there. I know. I don't, I'm in the same I don't way. know for sure. I don't think so. There's a couple of fields of corn he yeah. used to lease out to, I think, that. The dairy farm up in Granville. Okay. Yes, Winters. Yeah. Used to go up there, cut corn over there. Hmm. Okay. I'm just, I'm just curious. I don't know if you know anything. I mean, there's about people it. interested in some of that property, but they want too much money for it. Yeah. Hmm. My son-in-law's interested in ten acres in back of him, and. Sharon Cataldo was interested in the acreage there, but they he wants they want too much money. Kind of like surround the, the Kellogg brothers area yeah, what he's yeah. talking about. Oh, yeah. I mean I made an offer on the stuff next to me, but the lawyer just kept playing games with me, you know. Yeah. And if they had sold it to me, 
they would have saved money because they paid two years of taxes on it. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I guess that attorney and, and Seth are, are pretty good friends. They, huh? Go. Seth and the, the attorney um, yeah. are pretty good friends, and he uh, was insisting that that attorney handle everything. Uh, I don't know. That's yeah, he's handling it. I know him. Uh, <clears throat> um, see, the Tannery Road, I think we talked about last time, there's a for sale sign on the yeah. on Tannery Road near, near you, Dan, right? Well, it isn't sold yet, the property next to me, because they've got to get apply for all the uh, permits to put a bridge across right. there. And it's wetlands. Right. Bridge. It's going to cost a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. But it perked on. Huh? It perked. It perked yeah. up above, yeah. Hmm. And I got a bridge out of it. Is it 10, <laughs> 10, like 10 acres there? Nice ball, right? So you're going to perk it. They spent $10,000 for the bridge. Just so I would let them go across. And is it somebody that's it. from Southwick that's buying yeah. this? Is it someone from Southwick that's buying it? Yeah. Because they sold their house up on Loomis Ridge for three quarters of a million. Uh, they want to have a new house. Smaller. You know, I skipped nice over people. I skipped over the uh, 30 type, 32 Hillside Road, and that actually has been sold from, it was in the paper on Sunday, from uh, Richwood Realty to RWC Properties. Um, 32 Hillside Road, $350,000. That's all I know. I don't know who that is or what's going on. Which, what was the LLC? Um, RWC properties. Is Dennis still on? I'm still here. Who that is by any chance, Dennis? Um, didn't the neighbors uh, they decided that it would be good to, for the the new people to buy the property because they were just going to keep it as a farm? That's that's the email I got. Oh, okay. So, you, so that implies that RWC Properties is going to keep it as a farm? That's the email I got from the neighbors that were interested in preserving it. They said that they talked to the new uh, people who are buying it. They're going to keep it as a farm, and they thought that would be a great thing. So it was a win-win for everybody. Hopefully that uh, they do that. Yeah. Hey, Bert, when you get to public comment, I mean, when you get to uh, new business, I just wanted to uh, suggest that we have a photo shoot for Marissa and her signs because they are so nice and people are commenting. And it'd be nice to have a little photo shoot with, you know, both the uh, Right to Farm community and the uh, Forever Farms. I think we should give her a little bit of credit. She did a lot of work to... Uh, getting the financing from that after the select board refused to finance it, going to the CPC and going through that excruciating process of government trying to do something. I, I know I appreciate it, but everybody else does too. So if you, if you want to do something, let me know. Let's do it, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Red's cool, there's one right across the street from our house, I love it. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. You said uh, they just haven't heard anything about their application. Mm -hmm. and, um, Is there anything we can do to check on that and like expedite it? Yeah. And, um, Marissa, I don't know if you're still as a as a uh, resident. Pursuing the two acres uh, on Davis Road, on Nicholson Hill. I'm sorry, uh, trying to get 61A for for two acres. 
Yeah, I've been in touch with Barbara Hobson and she's not aware of any programs, so she's actually asking other people um, okay. about it. So she's inquiring. I was just in touch with her, so hopefully we'll do that. Thank you. Um, sorry, I'm kind of jumping around here. <laughs> so the farm, the farm brochure, um, you talked about the community garden, so the farm brochure was next. And you, I think Marissa, you said you're going to do that to me? Yeah, I'm done with the farm brochure. I completed it. I even added text to it that obviously can be edited and refined. So. Just looking for someone who I can hand it off to. Um, it is currently in an Adobe program, so if you, you know, whoever. Which program? It, um, I made it with Illustrator because it's a little easier. So that way, it could, you know, the text that I can that I put in can be edited or refined. You know, if you have typos or you don't like the direction that it's in. Um, it could probably be open in Photoshop, yeah. right? Pardon? It could probably probably be open in Photoshop. I don't like. Um, it's an AI file, so it. I mean, I, I can get Illustrator. Be open. I can convert it to possibly high res JPEG and send it. Just let me know. If you want to send file. me both, I can look at them. Okay, I'll send it via Dropbox because it's a big. Yep, file. that's fine. The high res photos were printed, so yep. I'll hand that off to you then. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm not, forgive me, I'm not sure what we're doing with the Winding River and Franklin Land Trust. Are we trying, are they the resource for forming our own land trust? Again, I'm looking at Marissa. Yes, yeah, that's a conversation that I initiated this summer with the Winding River, which is part of Franklin Land Trust. Mm -hmm. It's something that I had begun to pursue as a private citizen anyways. The way that land trusts generally work is that they have the, they are, a private entity, meaning that they are separate from government. Mm -hmm. However, they rely on the support of an ADCOM as well as a conservation commission. So um, what a land trust would do in this instance as well is also handle APRs, like what land trusts in other regions of Massachusetts do that, where Franklin does. Um, so that's still in the works, and there are some other people, private citizens, who are interested in starting a Southwick land trust. Winding River has the possibility of potentially rebranding um, into the South Atlantic Trust because there's already some infrastructure in place with that semi defunct organization. It's still active, but then it's not. So I think this is a longer term conversation, but it is something that would function out of government. But there should still be collaboration with the ICOM uh, because there is. There are common goals, obviously, and there's a lot of overlap, and it could take some of the administrative burden of managing APRs off of the outcome and onto <coughs> this entity that has already kind of a structure in place in terms of people who can do the research and know how to get in touch with the right resources. Um, still, something I'm pursuing. I don't know if there's somebody from ICOM that wants to work or if. Want me to come as a consultation to add and, and discuss yeah. it further with you guys. I'll let you guys decide that. Yeah. I was going to say, come as as appropriate, come to meetings and keep us updated. You want to do that? Sounds like you are. <laughs> I think there are a few people who would want to do that. Yeah, okay. people who are doing awesome. research on that. Yeah, because it's quite an expensive uh, process to get one started. And it needs money too, right? It needs money too, mm -hmm. but that's where potentially working with a bigger entity like Franklin Land Trust could be helpful. They have the resources and are willing to potentially help out because this region of Massachusetts is underrepresented in terms of land trust. Winding River and Westfield is the closest thing we've had. Now there's nothing, and land trust is important in terms of conservation, as we've seen as well with this past summer. Because they also understand the local bylaws and can help with bylaw changes by working with the planning board. There's the multi pronged entity, mm -hmm. it's not just related to ADCOM. So we need to have engagement from the planning board, zoning, conservation, ad, a few other boards, I'm sure, as well. Yeah. <coughs> 
Sounds like something the master plan committee should address. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Among your list of list of commissions and committees there. Uh, Tammy tells me that the Suffolk Library Climate Awareness Workshop was part of that week week long um, sort of collaborative effort with several libraries around. Um, yeah, the Suffolk one they focused on actually an offsite trip. Um, I don't remember where they went somewhere in Brentford, I believe. What day it was a hawk. We're going to focus on hawk sightings. Um, they didn't actually see any hawks, but they saw a moose. But I still talked to Lynn Blair, the director of the library, about I'd like us to do something, uh, maybe springtime, something related to how climate is going to affect the future of agriculture in general. Mm -hmm. I just don't know who to reach out to and keep them. Yeah, I, I thought that's what the, I thought it was kind of a bigger picture idea um, like that, right? Nothing wrong with going, you know, hawk watching or whatever, but I thought it was like kind of a bigger, you know, uh, how is climate going to affect agriculture? I have a question. All right, let's see if we can. Um, it's not on the agenda, but I just wanted to mention uh, while Sage Furious here, he um, <laughs> graciously set up a, a kind of a sample uh, program in Microsoft Teams, which is a way for us to work together and share documents. And I apologize, I haven't been able to do anything with it, um, but I appreciate the effort and we will. Uh, We'll get there, but still active. Still active. Okay. Yeah, we're going to right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> um, John Goodard has. <coughs> oh, yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Well, hello, hello John. Um, this actually is perfect timing because we're pretty much through our agenda. Um, if you. Uh, Want to clue us in, so to speak, on on your uh, work on the APRs? <laughs> oh well, thank you uh, very much, Bert. And uh, can you ever hear me? Okay. I uh, apologize. I'm doing this uh, from from the inside of my car at the moment. Uh, so, uh, just to um, I guess keep everybody up to speed, uh, my involvement has been light thus far. Um, just if you will, having observed and confirmed. Uh, some of the exchange, uh, I think that was probably a month or so ago, um, uh, related to the Davis and Prifty uh, APRs uh, process. Um, it's fair to say with some of the, the changes in guard um, and having seen that, that paperwork get bounced around, uh, I think we all shared a mutual concern making sure that it was tended to properly. Um, but uh, to be fair, uh, I think you've got some uh, team members and um, collaborators on this call right now that probably have a greater uh, depth of knowledge um, and maybe even uh, you know insight into uh, you know, I'm going to use the word alternatives to the APR program should that prove to be um, an, an obstacle uh, moving forward but I'm but I'm here to uh, you know contribute as I can and uh, and certainly help out um, as needed okay oh we did as <clears throat> you and I were emailing uh, John, uh, about the possibility of having a special AgCom meeting to talk about APRs, uh, and the commission is very much in favor of that. So we can kind of pencil in um, October 27th. Robert Hobson or others are available uh, that evening. And Fantastic. W would you like for me to help coordinate any uh, outreach to, for uh, some participation? Sure. I'm happy to do so, and I'll, I'll keep you in the loop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, I thought John was going to have more information than that, but <laughs> it's okay. Thank you, John. That's all I've got, Bert. It's all right. It's all right. It's a start. <laughs> um, 
Anybody else have anything for the, the good of the order, as we, as we say? Uh, I think we're gotten through our agenda. I appreciate everybody's help and um, willingness to you know, keep, at, keep at it with all the things going on. Um, and uh, get it sorted out, the roles and responsibilities you know, with the select board. Uh, yeah, Marissa. Hi. Marissa, again, just wanted to ask another question on record since there is going to be hopefully a meeting with the select board to ask previous questions that were mentioned. Yeah. Just wondering why the cons uh, the Ad Commission didn't follow up on the letter of interest as far as we know from public meetings for the uh, letter of interest that Sage Fury submitted over the summer. Uh, he has attended several of the last meetings. Yes of AGCOM and has done above and beyond in terms of his participation and um, wants to be active in this community. And I know that he submitted a letter of interest some time ago, um, yet someone unknown to AGCOM uh, and who hasn't participated or attended any of the meetings was appointed to full membership. Did the Ag Commission ask the select board why Mr. Fury was not chosen? There is an extra seat, as I mentioned earlier, I was removed as well as Venice, two full members. Um, so will the AGCOM consider going to the select board to advocate for transparency and support community volunteerism with Mr. Furies? Yes, we will. Um, I, have, I haven't followed up and asked that specific question you know, in the past couple of weeks, why Sage was not appointed after he wrote you know, this letter of interest some time ago, I wrote to the select board you know, supporting his his membership, but never, I never heard nothing so, happened. So I'm gonna read from. <laughs> yeah, that's why we'll uh, look into that. Um, uh, I've done that in, in the past with other members, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, we will be asking some of these some of these questions um, now that we have had a chance to you know meet after the select board meeting of the fourth uh, this is our first meeting so now some of the actions we've taken tonight we can move ahead Thank you. Yeah. Right. Diana, on the um climate awareness is there something you might be able to do regarding solar what opportunities are there for farmers and what grants or <laughs> what's available to fund it? For solar, would you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Some time ago, a year ago or more, a former commissioner, um, Brett Mitchell, said that there's already too much solar being produced for the grid, but I'm not I'm sure that that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that could be part of this program. You know, what, you know, what, are, what are the opportunities here? And, and no electric is going to go on the farm. Yeah, Sage. Because um, there was on the agenda, I couldn't say during public comment, but um, back to the community garden, I'm just kind of wondering if we can uh, have a plot that designated to children so that when you're actually attending your plot, they actually can do their own little like subsection just to keep them occupied while you're doing what you're doing. Because when you keep your kid involved, you know, yeah. and they're doing something, because obviously you're doing something to feed the family, they're doing experimentation. So they get to do whatever they want in their little area there. And I think the designation might also help bring people into doing more of the garden. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Did you turn out well at the garden this year? Not, not really. I think. Um, Was there a few people that stuck well, out? Oh yeah, some. Uh, <clears throat> we were kind of undersubscribed this year. Uh, there were some new people, um, but some, even some of the veterans, so to speak, kind of gave up uh, because of the, the conditions, you know, the weeds and the. So all that rain too. Oh, all that rain, rain killed it. Right. So um, yeah, as Lenita says, give me a drought any day. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring in water, but I can't take it out. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the plants have to struggle. Yeah, do better struggle mm -hmm. to overwater. 
So uh, we'll you know, try again next year. And I uh, love the idea of a children's a children's um, plot or area, whatever. So we can. Yeah, that's that's a cool idea. Yeah, and obviously we would just I think we would just make that available and not have anybody have to pay for it. Right. Yeah. It's more than enough room, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're a little crazy. My wife is she help come up with that idea. <laughs> All right. So no so noted. <laughs> Thank you for that. So Jan, Pam. It's good. I'm trying to think it's you know, we've had some Decorations or something in that children's plot. You know, like inviting to kids yeah. you know, to go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. Okay. Any other uh, comments, questions, input? So I'll make a uh, motion that we adjourn this meeting. Second that. Five seconds. Uh, Lanita? Ron? Zach? Aye. Aye, Dan? Aye. Barry? Aye. And Bert says aye. So thank you, one and all. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to end this meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gene. Thanks, Gene. Thank you. 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 Thank you.